Good morning, I'm Ava Kirshner. It's great to see you on this Saturday. Let's get you caught up on your top stories. Psychedelics are gaining interest and enthusiasm from the medical community, and a new drug hopes to help treat anxiety. ABC 10 News reporter Olivia Gonzalez-Britt has the story about a clinical trial happening here in San Diego that's showing promise. For millions of Americans dealing with anxiety, finding the right treatment can be a long road, but doctors believe a reimagined form of LSD might hold some answers. At Dr. Feifel's clinic in La Jolla, patients come in with depression, anxiety, PTSD, and eating disorders. But what sets this office apart is how they treat them. I just felt that uh, I, I wanted to create a center that focused on these advanced uh, treatments. Dr. Feifel opened his clinic in 2017 and is excited for this new era in psychedelic research. We're picking up where we left off, you know, 30, 40 years ago, and they are just looking very, very promising. One of the fastest his growing conditions his clinic sees is generalized anxiety disorder or GAD. We see it especially growing among the youth and uh, young, young females especially. One of those patients is Lucas Hoffman who's battered GAD for years trying treatment after treatment. So what number of years would you say that you tried all of these different treatments? I would say at least eight years of uh, exploring. As part of Dr. Feifel's clinic, Hoffman joined a clinical trial for a new investigational drug called MM120, a pharmaceutically optimized version of LSD. So I, I came in that morning. I was a little late for the dosing session because I was, I was dragging at home. I was pretty, pretty nervous. In a controlled environment, patients receive a single monitored dose. Personally, and this cannot represent the expectation for any of you on the trial, um, I, I really did I feel a, a sense of uh, freedom. I, I, I felt a, uh, a breakthrough of uh, some of the anxiety that was holding on so tightly to me. Early results are encouraging. This study, this phase two study, gave a single dose uh, and uh, found uh, benefits within a day that uh, lasted for 12 weeks. So it's, it's revolutionary uh, uh, when we compare it to the current uh, standard for, uh, for treatments. But more data is needed to bring it to the FDA's table. That's why they're in phase three now, and the clinic is looking for more patients. Uh, the overall hope uh, for me is that five or so years down the road, um, MM120 is FDA approved. Uh, this is something now that I, that I have uh, at my disposal to, to treat patients with this horrible condition. For ABC 10 News, I'm Olivia Gonzalez-Britt.